These anime are fuck. <laughs> when you think of anime in 2024, you think of this. What we really need to bring back is the unhinged minds of Japanese animators. The dark creativity that these animators had made you feel so present and so horrified, almost like you shouldn't be consuming what they've created. Every one of these anime I'm about to talk about, I found at a time of uncertain mental health. And only when in that state can you really feel what these artists are trying to express. These are the anime that made me question the sanity of myself and the creator. As anime enjoyers, we've all had a time where we don't want to leave our homes. Whether it be the horrendous realization that you're now an adult and you have to go work a job that you hate for most of your life, or it could even just be depression beating you up for some reason. This daunting feeling will have your brain being smacked around like you just found pornoirs for the first time. <laughs> NHK Ni Yokozo perfectly shows you the mind of someone who suffers from anxiety and depression. Life for our main character is already horrendous and everything just feels like a dark landslide that will never stop slipping. The artwork, environment, characters, music, loneliness and lies can only be appreciated by someone in this same dark place. Why is it so dark in here? Turn on the lights! Oh god, turn them back off! This anime felt like a never-ending sunset in a distant, faraway, horny fever dream. I couldn't tell if I should feel horny during this anime or afraid at the warm, eerie sensation that it gave me. I'm moist. Oddly enough though, this is still one of my favorite animes to date. I think it reminds me of a very particular dark time in my life. And when I think back to it, all I see is this. Mysterious Girlfriend X feels like a long summer sunset with your first ever girlfriend. And you're trying to figure out love for the first time in your life. Except in this reality, your first love has scissors and the desire to spit in your mouth every single day. <laughs> Do you like acid, inception, and anime? Well, that's what this anime is. I watched this roller coaster of an anime movie with my fiance, and afterwards I couldn't tell if I was truly living in reality. Paprika has you questioning everyone and everything. This anime is like a lucid fever dream where someone spiked you with acid and you just need to ride it out until your friends come and pick you up and take you home. What's going on? I'm just waiting for a mate. Is that why your car's all smashed up and you're up on the grass at the moment or what? This anime has conspiracy, creativity, pacing, and an older art style that is just so beautiful to watch late at night. Just don't blame me for any weird ass dreams you have after seeing this. Elisa. Oh man, it's dark again. Honestly, like most of these shows, Perfect Blue left me scrambling to Google to try understand its true meaning. I may not be the most academic when it comes to extracting the meaning of shows like this, but that doesn't mean I can't feel the trauma that was being expressed by the creator of this movie. Perfect Blue is about celebrity worship, entertainment culture, virtual environments, and the toxic fandom that is basically us. This psychological thriller shows a woman on the verge of madness. It has reality twisted with fantasy so well that viewers like us inevitably take on our MC's shattered point of view. This leaves us scrambling and unable to distinguish the truth until the stunning conclusion at the very end. And look, lately I just haven't been wanting to create anime content, watch anime, and I feel like I really need anime like this 
to bring that creative side back out of me. There's only so much isekai, only so much etchy anime you can watch, only so much epic fight scene animes. And sometimes to re-spark that flame, that love for anime, you need to go back and watch something like these anime that I've just mentioned. As I said, these days when you think of anime, you think of this. Oh, and now that makes total sense. When we should all remember anime like this. <laughs> shine, shine. <laughs> take me, take me now. Everyone, thank you very much for watching this video. It's a little different to my usual uploads, but if you like this, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what anime you really found fucked up. And if you like gaming, check out my other uploads, and I'm going to be putting out more anime content more often. Thank you for watching.